Hey, this is Joey Jarvis with uh, WHIS and What's Next. Who am I speaking with? Reverend Collins, president Hi. of NAACP. How you doing, Mr. Concerned Collins? Concerned citizens and all of that. Live here on the east, uh, east side here. So what's been the biggest problem here? This bridge itself, the Grand Street Bridge, which has been, it's been inoperable for what, how long now? It's been they, well over. They closed it. Yes, it's over. Yeah, they closed it June, I think, or somewhere about the last water. year. Okay. So we just found out. We'll keep it real. We we petitioned the city. We've talked to the city mm -hmm. about the Pioneer Bridge, whatever, whatever. The city kept giving us the run around at first that it was a joint venture, joint owned by the Between railroad them and, and North and, and Southern. Right. Well, we just found out couple of weeks ago however that the railroad owns the bridge completely that's what they said that the railroad owns the bridge so therefore they're responsible for the bridge we're wanting the city to bring the railroad to the table has to be you feel what i'm saying yes sir now if you bring the railroad to the table then the railroad can tell us we're gonna, we're gonna repair it we're gonna tear it down we will build another. There's got to be a solution. That's all I'm saying. We just give us but, an answer. But, right. Give us give us an answer. What what you're going to do that we can that for for instance, if you say you're going to tear it down, okay, tear it down. Then we'll fight the city for better roads. Correct. Exactly. Got to have better saying, access. Better road. Because we all know we right. all know about the access. You either have to go to either point right. on either end of town. Right. And it the, takes it wind. takes thirty minutes. There you go. Then what you're going to do? What about EMS? But there you go. That was my next point. The other day, seriously, I was coming in, fire truck sitting in the, you know, on Hardy there. Yes, sir. Well, if it's an emergency, I've got two choices. I can wait them out or turn around and go back and come back and go come this way. So it's, circle the same, back. it's the same thing. What if the police had to come by with that truck sitting there at that time? You feel what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Or, or the EMS had to get to somebody yes. over here. What's going to happen? And they come this way, and here's a life or death situation. Now, they got to either stop fighting the fire or move the truck so the EMS uh, van can get through or the van got to turn around and spend another 10 minutes. Well, look, let's talk about the solution, too, because... Before, there's been city council meetings, and there's actually been special hearings just about this bridge. Right. They even brought out an, in, an outside firm to do right. bids on engineering and proposals. Right. When did For all what? of a sudden, when, exactly, when did it change from we're going to try to mitigate and try to fix the situation? When did all of a sudden did it become just that, well, it's a railroad problem? Okay, now. I think it changed when we, the citizens, decided to do something call the city's hand. We had scheduled a meeting for last Wednesday. The city had not even discussed this bridge. Tuesday before our meeting, they had a meeting, and that's when we found out the Tuesday before our meeting that it was that it didn't that it that, that that they didn't own the bridge. The railroad owned the bridge. Well hell, excuse me. They've been knowing that all along. They had to. That, no doubt. Think about it. Friend. What's the advantage of uh, why misrepresent themselves? Right, right. And think about this. You own a car. Yes, sir. You can do it legal or you can be <laughs> illegal. <laughs> but you got insurance on your car. Yes, sir. And I'm sure the nice car you got, you got both liability and collision. Yes. The city don't own nothing that doesn't have insurance on it. Of course not. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I know the railroad got insurance on this bridge. If something happened on, on, to somebody, Their claim whatever, could be made easily. They, they got money set aside for that purpose. So don't, 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 you know, don't, don't, don't hoodwink me. Of course not. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm old enough. Been here a little while. You know, been <laughs> You've been around, around the sun a few been times. Been around, you know, <laughs> to, to know what's going on. So this is what we're doing. We're going to call the attention to the city, to the railroad. Do something. Well, and secondly, do something. It's just about your tax paying citizens. Right. You pay right. property taxes. Yes, sir. You, you, you all are law abiding citizens. Yes, sir. And you deserve equal access to your neighborhood, just like just any like other section of the city of Bloomfield. And that's all we're asking. And that's all you're asking. And that's for. all we're asking. So, that's all we're asking. what's the next step for you all as a, as a, well, as a community? As a community, one of the things we discuss, seriously, is looking, if possible, or if need be, if there is any legal 
ramification. Yes, sir. If mm -hmm. we have to hire a lawyer and check it out, see if it, you know, whether we sue the railroad, sue the, sue the city, I don't know what it takes. But if it comes to that, if there's any way, you know, that 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 that, that legal action could be taken mm -hmm. against the railroad or city or both. Mm -hmm. So that's what that's one thing we're looking to. But you're just well. looking for. You don't want. You don't want. You don't want financial. Talk to me. Exactly. Just, <laughs> just talk and be honest. Give us some. Uh, give us some communication. That's all I'm asking for. Hey, have you had any? Have you had any any conversations at all with anybody from the railroad, or is it consistent no, where you not, just get we, a run we around? We haven't, and to my knowledge, neither has the city. Now, to my knowledge, now maybe somebody from the city can tell you otherwise. Uh, but we got some people, people that raised up here that live in uh, uh, Oklahoma, Chicago, different places. We've been talking to them. They're concerned. Of course they are. About it's their home. This is their home. And uh, one of the things that they're saying to us is that why will not the city and then to contact our state representatives, the governor and all of them, even like I said, understandably, this is not a state state road it's not a mm -hmm. state owned bridge but yet somebody's got to intervene the governor and them down there they can help us as well you know because i know that one thing that i'm sure the railroad not the city nobody wants negative publicity of course not nobody not even me <laughs> <laughs> amen you know yeah but if this is the way we have to do it this is what we're going to do well but it, well, let me ask you a question sure. from, from a, a fellow citizen here. Okay. Give me a message directly to the governor, to the city government, and to the railroad here of just what you're actually looking for. Let's just give them a message. Just give me your quote unquote campaign speech. We're asking the city of Bluefield officials and the railroad to sit down at the table and talk to us. Tell us what they're willing to do, what they can or cannot do to assist us with this bridge situation. That's all we're asking. That's all we're asking because knowledge is power. Of course it is. We don't have no knowledge. We're, we're going on hearsay, you know what I'm saying, and things yes, come out later on. So we're, I'm, I'm asking the city of Bluefield officials and even the state to get involved and help us sit down with the railroad and they say to us, whatever it, whatever it is, mm -hmm. be honest. That's of all course. That's all. Just a little transparency. That's all we ask him, my friend. Just, just give us an answer. No more. Hey, no if more. anybody wants to help out and try to get you, get motivated with you guys, are y'all doing anything collective? Can they join in? What would yeah, be a good now, way to find now, out more? Now, you can always contact myself. Yes, sir. Uh, I think you're very popular in these parts. Well, I don't know about that. Maybe I'm just <laughs> maybe I'm just got a head wound. <laughs> but you can always contact me, Reverend Collins. Yes, sir. I pastor the Mount Island Missionary Baptist Church on here on the east side. Yes, sir. Uh, east End, brother. And um, I, I, like I said, I'm president of the NAACP, the yes, Mercer County branch. So you can contact me. Uh, uh, just dial 304-888-1468. Talk to me, and we have a meeting. Right now, we're meeting on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Yes, at sir. the church. House. Okay. And in and everybody's welcome. We have well, your mask. Of course. We have our, you know, sanitizers and all of that. So we Excellent. stand vigilant because of the yes, pandemic. Sir. Of course. But anybody can attend the meeting. Okay. Anybody. And hey, we love to have and, and love to have that input. Well, all I can say is that you got a lot of people behind you. Let's I, put well, it that way. Well, do the honking and can on. I, yeah. I believe that. Well, believe maybe that. we might just rattle the nest a little bit. We can actually get people to just give you an answer. Right. And that's so all we want. We'll do all we can that's to try to help you out. Yeah, we appreciate, appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. God Thank bless you, you sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.